Good afternoon, Mariel. Good afternoon, ma'am. Okay, Mariel, can you tell me about yourself? I'm Mariel Capuras, 26 years old, and one baby girl. Okay, I have a few questions for you to answer, so let's start. Yes, ma'am. Why do you want to work as a maid? For the future of my family and my child. Why you choose Malaysia when there is a lot of other country? For near for the Philippines. How are you qualified for this job? I'm hardworking. And? Yes, ma'am. You are hardworking and? Discipline. May I know what your educational level is? Um, Mako National High School and Tambalian Elementary School. Are you a high school graduate or a college graduate? High school graduate, ma'am. What is your recent working experience? A recent working experience, I working in Kuwait for two years. Okay. Finish contact. All right. Do you, okay, do you have experience of taking care of baby? Yes, ma'am. How old is the baby? One month until two years old. Okay, how about elderly people? Willing to learn, ma'am. Do you have any other special skills? Yes, ma'am. Are you willing to learn new skills? Yes, ma'am. Are you willing to work with the family where the mother-in-law or any relative stays together? Yes, ma'am. Currently, are you still working now? Yes, ma'am. Do you know how to cook? Yes, ma'am. What sort of food can you cook? Filipino food and Arabic food. Okay, how about other dishes like Chinese food, European, Indian food, and Malay food? Willing to learn, ma'am. Are you aware that you will have to do washing, cleaning, ironing, and cooking? Yes, ma'am. From all the house chores like washing, cleaning, ironing, and cooking, which do yes. you like most? Um, cleaning, cooking, and ironing. If ever you were selected to work in Malaysia, who will take care of your kids? My mother. You are not allowed to use handphone during working hours. Yes, ma'am. You are only allowed to use handphone after you finish all the works and when going to bed. Yes, ma'am. You are strictly needed to surrender the handphone to your employer in the morning and your employer will return back to you once you're going to bed. Yes, ma'am. If ever your employer finds out that you're abusing of using your handphone and it's affected your work performance, your employer will confiscate your handphone and you are not allowed to hold it anymore. Instead, your employer will allow you to call to your family three times in a month. You're only allowed to bring normal phone and you are not allowed to bring smartphone. Are you agreed for the terms and condition? Yes, ma'am. Are you agree to the rules and regulation for the handphone? Yes, ma'am. How many years is the contract as you agreed and understands? Two years, ma'am. Can you describe for me your ethics, your attitude? Hardworking and discipline. How can you assure to us that you will work hard in Malaysia? To finish my contract, ma'am. Can you promise not to use the telephone without the permission of your employer? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to put on makeup but to dress properly while work? Yes, ma'am. 
Can you promise not to ask for advance salary from your employer under any circumstances? No, ma'am. Can you promise not to ask for advance salary from your employer under any circumstances? Yes, ma'am. Do you really understand of the rules and regulation of the agency? Yes, ma'am. Do you pay any placement fee for you to come to Malaysia to work as a maid? Yes, ma'am. Do you pay any placement fee for you to come to Malaysia to work as a maid? I know, ma'am. Do you have any history of sickness, breast cancer, or any other illness? No, ma'am. Do you suffer from any skin diseases, allergy, or physical defect? No, ma'am. Have you suffered from any serious illness? No, ma'am. Do you smoke? No, ma'am. Have you undergone any operation? No, ma'am. Are you medically fit? Yes, ma'am. Are you in any medication? No, ma'am. Are you allergic with any food? No, ma'am. Are you prepared to work for the employer of any race? Yes, ma'am. Are you prepared to eat the type of food taken by your employer? Yes, ma'am. Are you afraid of being left alone in the house? Yes, ma'am. Are you afraid of being left alone in the house? I know, ma'am. Are you afraid yes, of dogs or other pets? No, ma'am. Can you promise to work according to instruction from your employer? Yes, ma'am. Do you have any immediate family working in Malaysia? No, ma'am. Okay, Mariel, we have finished our question section. Let's go to case study. I have a case study for you and I want you to answer me truthfully, okay? Yes, ma'am. Upon arrival here in Malaysia within six months only, if ever any of your family members passed away, what will you do? Only I send the money for my family. Okay. Tell us about yourself and why do you want to work in Malaysia as domestic helper? For the future of my family mom and my child. Okay, Marielle, what do you want to tell to your employer who are watching your video right now? Thank you, Mom and Sir. Anything you want to tell to your employer who are watching your video right now? I hope you will choose me. Okay, thank you very much, Marielle. We will update to your agency if there is any selection made by the employer. Okay, ma'am.